eBay shipping policies sound confusing? I'll simplify them in today's video. Okay, so first you're just gonna log into your eBay. You're gonna go to My eBay and then Selling. Once you're here, of course, you're gonna be at an overview page like this. Um, but what you're gonna do is go into the top left and go to Account Settings. Your account settings on desktop should look similar to this. And then what you want to do is click on business policies right here. If you don't see this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and just type in business policies eBay update. Okay. And the first thing that pops up is business policies like this. Click on that. Okay. It's going to take you to this page. It's going to look just like this. You're just going to scroll down and click business policies. Let's do that together. And then boom, now it's going to have all of your shipping policies, right? Your, sh your shipping templates and policies. Now you're gonna click create policy and you're gonna do one for shipping. And then you're just gonna do your policy name. So let's just say this one, we want it to be, uh, let's see. Yeah, it has all the shipping stuff that you need and if you want it to be. So we're gonna do shipping for all items made by Josh. Cool. You can do a little description. Now, is it going to be standard shipping, freight, or no shipping, local pickup only, right? So again, usually you're gonna be doing standard. Now, what is it, what's the shipping cost? Is it going to be flat rate cost, or it's gonna be calculated? So if it's calculated, that means if they live far, then eBay's automatically gonna charge them more. Or if it's flat rate, you can also add a primary service. So are you gonna mainly be shipping it with USPS, right? Usually USPS ground is gonna be the main one or USPS priority. Or do you wanna use FedEx or something else? So we're gonna add that in USPS, okay? And now since we added that in, it's the same cost to all buyers. I've decided I wanna do free shipping, right? Um, so now we can do free shipping or we can put how much the buyer pays or we can change it to calculated right and calculated pretty much means that if they live in california they're going to get charged more since that's far away or hawaii but you can also do free shipping even on calculated it's still going to be free so it's up to you on how you want to do uh, shipping most sellers either charge calculated or they do free shipping right so flat service i'll do usps ground advantage that's like one of the cheapest and then we're going to do free shipping. And then it's gonna say free shipping on the listing and then usually people are more willing to pay for it. Now there's also a rate table and this is kind of if different regions you wanna charge different rates, right? So for overnight shipping, you have that option in different rates, right? So you can have different rates for each region and kind of go from there. So you can add all of those in. And then international shipping, do you wanna enable international shipping? Right, so let's say you want to, somebody orders from Germany. You can turn on this section and then it, eBay will help you ship directly to Germany. So what they usually do is you ship to Miami or somewhere else in the US and then eBay handles the rest and then ships it directly to Germany and handles all the custom stuff. So that's good if you wanted to expand to international sales and international sales channels. So if we turn that on right here, you can see again, do you want to call it for this, I would probably charge calculated for international because you don't know how much it's gonna be. It could be like 90 bucks to ship to Australia, right? Um, and then you can do ship worldwide and then you can also charge an extra handling cost just in case something goes wrong. So like, usually I just charge like two bucks extra. I mean, because it's usually covered by eBay anyway. And then how long is it gonna take you to ship the item out? Uh, and usually you do, it takes two business days. Um, but the, the faster, the more sales you're gonna get, the slower, the less sales you're gonna get. But also, if you do one business day, you have to ship it out within one business day or else you're gonna get penalized by eBay. You can exclude locations. So sometimes I like click on almost all of them and that way I don't have to ship anywhere else. Just I don't wanna ship to PO boxes or um, something like that. So then you can click save. After you click save on this, your policy is going to be completely saved and you can go to your eBay listings, right? And then refresh, edit one of your eBay listings, refresh and scroll to the bottom and then assign this listing or any one of your listings 
with that new shipping policy. So it should be here at this point, you can refresh, and then that new shipping policy we created would be right here, and then boom, it's automatically in the system. Then you can assign it to every single listing, or different listings can have different shipping policies. Right, so if you wanted to have one listing that had a signature only, you can create a shipping policy for that. If you want to have a listing that doesn't ship internationally, you can have a business policy for that and then name them properly. You can see this one's not properly named. Um, but of course, you can also make payment policies and a lot more in this business policy section. I hope you that you learned something new. And if you want me to create more eBay videos, tell me what to cover next in the comments. If you learned something new, drop a like. And if you're an eBay seller, I highly recommend subscribing to our channel because we're giving away great content that's going to help you in your eBay journey. And of course, if you need any help selling on eBay, increasing sales, or anything mentioned in this video, contact EHP Consulting Group. The link is right in the description to contact us or schedule a call. Also, one of our most popular services is our full eBay management service. This is where we'll come in, we'll look at all of your eBay listings, optimize them, make sure no late shipments are going out. We'll send you your shipping labels. We'll do your advertising and of course, increase your sales. The benefit of this service is so you can spend time working on your business and expanding your product list while we're doing the daily management, helping you increase your sales, your customer service, all that good stuff. Feel free to contact us at ehpconsultinggroup.com. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO, and I'm signing out.